Hello, my beautiful rosebuds. Of course, it's your favorite rosebud, Nisi K, and I am coming back with another video. Yes, yes, another, another video. Yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, again, as y'all know, I'm very, very silly, so it is what it is. Y'all deal with it, or you know, I would like you to say, but if you can't handle your girl I understand <laughs> but anyways guys before we get into this video I do want to go ahead and ask you guys to go ahead and like go ahead and comment go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell so that when I do upload more videos you guys are alerted as well as follow your girl it's free 99 all social media under gossipbud87 and without further ado Let's go ahead and get into today's video so we are actually going to be discussing how Lil Fizz and April obviously could not hide their relationship anymore they was tired of trying to be on the low they was tired of trying to make it look like that they weren't together when in fact they really are or there's something so it is is now coming out how they are together right now of course a while back Moniz actually accused both April and Little Fizz of messing around with each other and it seemed like she was trying to imply that they were acting as a family spending quality time together with each other's kids like in intertwining the kids into the relationship and of course both little fizz and april came out pretty much calling Moniz a complete and utter liar like bro you lying you lying like we are just friends we ain't nothing like you you going overboard right now to the point to where freaking april was threatening to beat Moniz's ass like literally she was threatening to fight Moniz over this and little fizz actually decided you know what i'm gonna be petty since you're trying to be petty I'm gonna be petty and while he was denying this whole relationship with April he let it slip how while Moniz sitting here trying to be all up in his business why ain't she trying to let everybody know that she is a dating fellow loving hip-hop from Atlanta um Scrap Deleon mmm 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 okay <laughs> So, you know, that whole little situation went down. And, of course, uh, Moniz was denying that her and Scrap Deleon was dating. And we saw the whole interaction between Moniz and April online where they were arguing back and forth with each other. And then it was kind of dropped. It was kind of dead. It, it was what it was. You didn't hear no more about it. Now, of course, we ended up finding out Moniz was full of shit. Yes, I said it. Moniz was full of shit. Um, and was actually dating or she was something with Scrap Deleon on Love and Hip Hop um, Atlanta because you know she came on that season and they were also dating. So now after that has come out about Moniz and Scrap Deleon, we are now finding out <laughs> that both April and Little Fizz are also full of shit. It might actually be dating because eh, eh, yeah okay they're pretty much I guess ready to let the world know that they're dating because they had a video and it wasn't a video that they recorded themselves per se it was a video that somebody else recorded where it pretty much showed them kind of in a corner kind of you know cuddled up with each other kind of a little hugged up you know doing things that friends friends wouldn't do you know in my opinion a friend would not do and then right so after that happened pretty much april jones went on live and after being asked again if her and little fizz dated she actually ended up pulling little fizz onto the camera of her live and then saying while he's there as well as after he walks off that life is to be lived 
so pretty much based off that it's kind of being speculated that she is actually coming out and she's actually letting everybody know that her and little fizz are actually together and how like pretty much i'm guessing they ain't gonna make it a secret no more they ain't gonna be sitting here hiding anything it's gonna be known that they were together and based off like i said the video um and i'm pretty sure you guys <laughs> were watching it as i was talking um it really seems like that because they're doing things that it's like as friends you wouldn't expect a friend to do i will go ahead and say that you wouldn't expect that of a friend you'd expect that of somebody that you dating or somebody that you talking to or maybe even a friends with benefit situation where there's more than just friendship there that's how that came off to me right now what i'm gonna sit here and say because you know a lot of people i'm we're pretty much talking and a lot of people are pretty much coming at them talking about that this what they're doing is grimy this that and the other what i'm gonna sit here and say is omarion actually came out himself and said in a, a, a prior interview that if it ever came out that they were dating that he actually wouldn't care right so I'm just gonna say if they like it I love it because everybody as far as when it comes to Omarion Lil Fizz and April side of it they are all pretty much under an understanding that it is what it is like Omarion don't have no issues with it he don't feel no kind of way about them dating even though me personally like I would think that because they were i'm not gonna say were allegedly there still are but because him and little fizz are friends you know they just went on this whole tour together with each other and they are bandmates you would think that he might have an issue with the fact that his bandmate is now messing with his baby mama but i'm guessing um omarion's out here living his life and he out here doing him and so he like what what's what's the purpose of me worrying what's the purpose of me sitting here trying to control what she does and like if that's what they gonna do that's what they gonna do so he he's obviously um pushing it as if he don't have no problem with it so if he don't have a problem with it why would i have a problem with it because april isn't my baby mamas and Lil Fizz isn't my baby daddy <laughs> and I don't know none of these people so I don't have a problem with it now it was funny because um Monice actually did come out and do a video where she was pretty much congratulating them <laughs> on being together and just pretty much said that they could all be a blended family and you know co-parent together as long as April Jones minds her fucking business so I mean that I guess that's where um I guess that's where Monice's head is on it and honestly like what I will sit here and say is when it comes to Monice because Monice and April really aren't friends I'm guessing um even when it comes to the show it didn't seem like they were really friends or close like that so I don't know why she would care if April and a uh, little fizz are together because she has no ties to Amarion because like let's be real Amarion and little fizz allegedly they're supposed to be related but like i've never seen anything that shows that they're actually related so i mean whatever um Lil fizz is doing with april that is none of monice's business just like what monice is doing when it came to scrap de Leon was none of little fizz's business and <laughs> i'm laughing because like i said i find it funny like most people probably be like oh well why did he call out monice and he was telling monice's business when Monice was actually right like that's here's the point that I'm gonna make right Monice shouldn't have spoken on their situation especially if she didn't want her situation put out there like it's not like she had a conversation with them and was like I'm gonna tell the world that y'all messing around which in tune why would she need to tell the world that they're messing around that's none of her business so pretty much Lil Fizz was like pretty much an eye for an eye you gonna you gonna try to do this to me I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna return the favor and of course Monice did the exact same thing that Little Fizz and April did which was deny that she was hooking up with Scrap de leon but then of course we saw it all on our tv screens that they were something something was going on there so she can't say that it wasn't 
but I just find this whole situation hilarious it's funny how after they spent all that time lying saying that when they weren't together they weren't together now they wanted to be known that they are an item there's something um, not necessarily saying their boyfriend and girlfriend but there's something now maybe maybe in the beginning when Moniz first came out with the claims they weren't together and they were just friends and then after that whole ordeal and that whole situation went down they talked they decided you know this could be something that works for us this could be something that is for us and they did decide to be uh, to go ahead and, and try to talk and see if they could be in a relationship together so of course that's me playing devil's advocate on the situation <laughs> but ultimately if that's not how it started and they were messing around in the beginning when Monice caught them out on it then they are liars just like Monice is a liar and they are all full of shit in my book but gonna go ahead and i'm gonna end this story here guys go ahead and comment down below let me know how you guys feel about this situation are y'all shocked or are y'all not shocked were y'all surprised because of course like me personally it had already came out that there was already speculation that they were dating anyway so i wasn't too shocked when it came out that they were dating but you know the fact that they lied about it i mean it is what it is but hey like y'all did lie but all right guys go ahead and also smash that like button hit that subscribe button also click that notification bell so that when your girl does upload new videos you guys are alerted and you can either see my beautiful face or hear my marvelous voice come across through your computer screen and I'm going to go ahead and end the video here but I did want to mention sharing is caring go ahead and also follow your girl it's free 99 all social media is under gossip bud 87 and until the next video guys bye